100% of all of Houston's city-owned landfills were located in predominantly black neighborhoods. 100%, without deviation, six out of eight of the city-owned uh, incinerators were located in predominantly black neighborhoods. We will not allow Warren County to become a dump site. It was not until Warren County, where that toxic waste landfill was placed in the middle of this predominantly black county, that began to galvanize people to talk about this whole idea of environmental racism. The protesters were told not to block the trucks. They are now lying in the streets now, blocking one truck, moving into the landfill. They are refusing in order to move, and they are being arrested one by one. This black community being dumped on, being targeted, and people saying, no, we have a right to live in a clean and healthy environment. That's when the whole idea of environmental justice as a national movement uh, came into effect. The mainstream environmental movement uh, for too long did not realize how important this was and did not cooperate and partner with, with the environmental justice movement. And it took uh, two decades for those two movements, civil rights movement and environmental movement, to converge. Then we said, okay, environmental justice for all. It's about race and class. And if a community that is poor and it is powerless, if they're getting dumped on, then that is an environmental justice issue because it's about power or lack thereof. This is about human rights. 